Hello, you're watching Lin TV, your local internet news station from Papos. I'm Lucy Mobson with the main stories today. The future of the seafront road in Gato Paphos is uncertain once again, following a protest held last night against the opening of the pedestrianized stretch to one-way traffic. Residents gathered on Posidonas Avenue to demonstrate against the move as Mayor Savas Vergas inspected the progress of safety works. After meeting the protesters, he immediately called a halt to works and announced that the council will discuss the issue next Monday. The government needs to take urgent action against illegal dumping of disused fridges, the words of the Cyprus Green Party speaking to Lynn TV today about the need to get tough on businesses which violate EU laws on safe disposal. These pictures, taken by Lynn TV's environment correspondent, show refrigerators that have been covertly left at Marathon de Tip, some by a retailer that tells customers that their old fridges will be disposed of safely. Toxic chemicals in the appliances can seep into the earth and contaminate underground water supplies. Banaya Mukhtar elections will go ahead on September 14th as planned as objections to the two candidates were rejected today for having no legal basis. Former Mukhtar Ezekiel Ezekiel and two of his supporters submitted the objections. In the latest of medical facilities upgrades, Paphos General Hospital has announced plans to expand its first aid unit. And next Thursday, the government will present the final plan for the Akamas Peninsula. Villagers have asked that they be permitted to build low-impact traditional-style homes within the designated conservation band. More than 6,000 drivers in Cyprus have been ordered to retake their driving tests. The majority of the drivers are over the age of 70, and their abilities on the road have been questioned. Greek and Turkish Cypriots have decided to unite to protest peacefully against the continued sealing of Green Line checkpoints. The demonstration will take place at the old Nicosia airport on September 11th. Following several warnings, the council demolished a seating area outside a Gato Paphos hotel yesterday because it extended over neighbouring business boundaries. And finally, tomorrow night there is a musical extravaganza at Aphrodite's Temple in Guglia as a French ensemble, Cypriot choir and soprano perform works on the theme of the poetry of Sappho. Tickets are 25 euros. Well, that's all for today. Join us again on Monday for a fresh roundup of news from Paphos and do visit the site over the weekend for news updates. Also, we'd like to remind you to stay online for Going Out with Andrew Oliver next on our playlist. From all of us at Lynn TV, thank you for watching and have a pleasant weekend.